be distressing a tumbler today. I'm currently working on this one. And we're gonna change, we're gonna start with this <laughs> and we're gonna turn it into this. This is what we're gonna be doing today. And I'm almost finished this one. I'm gonna finish it up while I wait for some people to come on and then I'm gonna take you guys, <coughs> excuse me, take you guys outside to spray paint. And I was wondering if I wanna take you guys outside because we have locusts here and um, I've been traumatized by the whole locust thing. Now let me put you up on YouTube just so I can see when I have comments. Oh, do, 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 do. Uh, let me see. There we go. Cool. Get this one finished real fast I think I'm almost done I think I just want to have a little bit more a couple more white spots on this one hey what's your name three two on cup designs I see the three two on cup designs what's your name what's your name I'll call you by your name because that's a long business name love it it's a long business name hope you guys are having a good day hey Jerry Hey, Sharice. Erica. Hey, Erica. How's it going? How is everybody doing today? I'm finishing up this tumbler real fast. I'm running a little late today because I slept in because, like I said, my kids are with their grandparents. Yes, you did. You caught a live. Hey, Melissa. And um, my house is quiet. Like, listen. Can you hear that? Can you hear it? It's so quiet. I literally don't know what to do with myself. But I'm finishing this tumbler. Let me move back so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm finishing up this tumbler real fast. We're going to turn this into this. <laughs> so this flag is like brand new out the factory, and this one's been through some wars. So that's what we're going to be turning into. Oh my gosh, yes, Sharice. <laughs> I love my babies. Don't get me wrong. I love my babies. But my house usually sounds like a world war is going on between the screaming and the yelling and mommy, mommy, mommy. I'm like, I love you, but go. Bye. Go. Be free. Be free. <laughs> Be free. Is that vinyl? No, I don't have any vinyl on here. This is all paint. In fact, I followed a tutorial. Um, what was the name? Uh... Mmm, Brando, something Brando. Team Brando. Team Brando has a tutorial on YouTube. It's been up for like three years. Like when I first started making tumblers and I made my first distress flag about three years ago, I followed their tutorial and I pretty much have made so many, it's memorized now. It's that the only thing that I do different is I do the distressing different on my tumbler. But everything else to get to this point, is on Team Brando's tutorial. If you search Team Brando, and in fact, I'll link it below when I'm finished, but if you search Team Brando Distress Flag Tumblr on YouTube, it'll pop up. And they even have the stencil, the same exact stencil that I use for this. They have a link to the stencil and everything. It's, it's like bomb, bomb. And I've been doing it ever since. And I get a lot of people, you know, they say, well, you need to have 50 stars on the flag, but I make it so it's kind of like, hidden so the 50 stars could be there they could not be there that's just my preference if you want to have 50 stars on your flag you can go ahead and do it <laughs> yes is my house is loud as a mug i'm sorry i was reading comments but yes if you want to have like the 50 stars you absolutely can this one only has i think it was 36 stars on it but i make it so it's kind of like like an abstract type thing you can do what you want. Some people are like, you need to have 50 stars. And I'm like, calm down. It's it's art. It's art. People get the idea. It's it's an American flag for Pete's dad on sake. What brand tumbler is that? Is this a hog? No. This is from 
craft craft haven hold on yes craft haven here's one still in the box 30 ounce traditional this is a tra traditional cup from craft haven I order cups from everywhere. This is from Craft Haven. I think their website is crafthaven.com. And it's, this is what it used to look like. But I like the traditional cuts sometimes. I also have the Modern Curve from Hog. I think I ran out of those though. But I have, I like this. I like the shape of it. I think it looks cool. Craft Haven, Craft Haven. It is hard to find, but they have that uh, that shape at crafthaven.com. Their shipping is free when you hit a certain amount, which I totally suggest you do because if you don't, that shipping is like high, like $20 high. But if you get over, if you purchase like, oh, I think it's like $150 or something in cups, it's free. Definitely save up for that. And I think I'm done with this one. So I'm about to take you guys outside. So I'm gonna have to move you. <sighs> I need to gear up because there's locusts out there, y'all, and I don't do bugs, and these locusts are like the size of my flipping thumb. Oh my word. Oh my word. Yes, they can they can be, but I think they understand that it's um it's kind of uh understood that there's 50 stars here, especially since I do I spray paint this part and I spray paint the other side just to kind of give an idea that there's 50 stars there. I have some of my turner that are turning right now that are 50 stars. This one, my We The People one, it's still a little wet. This one has 50 stars on it. It's just that the stars are smaller. So if you want the bigger one, or you can have the smaller one to make it look more realistic. This is gonna get distressed too, but it's still a little tacky. I didn't get it done in time. Oh. All right, y'all, I'm gonna take y'all outside. <laughs> There's bugs out there. All right, so I'm using flat, black spray paint and we're gonna take this out there i'm gonna have to move you guys um i'm trying to figure out how i can take my ipad out there too it's gonna be really bumpy you guys all right so i think i'm gonna take you guys out first and then i'm gonna run back in and grab this so i don't drop it so all right it's gonna be awkward for a minute we will get real close and personal y'all how y'all doing y'all doing good y'all having a good day a good thursday acer get out the way my dog is right you gonna go outside all right go ahead i have a rescue oh my gosh you can hear them can you hear them that oh sound oh my gosh all right let me tilt you up oops there's the sky it's hot as a mug can y'all hear them it's crazy all right i'll be right back let me get the cups Okay, cup and I got my spray paint. Can y'all see? Yes, they are, and they're huge. I don't see any out right now, praise God, so we gonna be fast. Y'all see my dog? That's Acer. Acer, say hi. <laughs> you ain't paying me any mind. All right, you know, I should have got a glove. I'm gonna switch hands real quick. Sorry, y'all. Thing about lives is that <laughs> they can be longer than necessary because we can't edit anything. Normally, I would edit this part out, me switching gloves, but I can't. Oh my gosh, it sounds like the Amazon jungle out here. This is not cool. Hi, Acer. Sounds like a scary movie, right? Yeah, they are loud. Yes, yes, yes. I live in Maryland. Oh my gosh, I just saw one. Oh, it just flew by my head. Okay, we gotta roll. <laughs> okay, this, I'm gonna be spraying the side. Oh my word, I just saw shadow. They have shadows, y'all. That's ridiculous. 
Anytime you got a shadow, you are too dang big. I am not, mm -mm, no, that's unacceptable. And you can't even see it. I'm spraying, y'all can't even see it, I'm sorry. So I'm just spraying the black. Spray it anywhere you want because we're gonna end up wiping it away with acetone. So I'm just kind of spraying where I want my distressing to be. I usually spray along the top and all along the bottom. Oop. And if you get splatter, that's fine. And I think that's, wait a minute. There's a spot right here I wanna get. I can't see your comments right now, but when I get back inside, I'll read them. Yeah, that's about good enough. And we're gonna be wiping most of this away when we get it back inside. Alrighty, moving back in because there are bugs. Ah! All right, I'm gonna move y'all first. Oh gosh. Acer, you staying out here, dude? Acer, it's hot. Come in here. Come in here. Come, come. Hurry up. You can let bugs in. Gosh. Don't move too slow. Maybe I got time for it. All right. Ignore my messy house. I'm supposed to go to clean today since I have no kids and I can actually enjoy it for a little while. But I haven't had a chance to. Is that spray paint over epoxy? Yes. Uh, into the thick of it. <laughs> right? I'll be right back. I'm going to get the cup. Sorry, I'm fussing at the dog. Alrighty, now let's get, I'm like sweating and I was out there for two seconds. Oh, sorry y'all. Ah! Good night, okay. I'm also gonna turn it all down in a second so you can see my hands. In fact, let me do that now. Give me one second, one second. Such a neat process. Can you share how you figure out what size decals to use on? Um, I use uh, I use tape to measure, and then I saved the design and design space when I first made this tumbler. Goodness, like I said, about three years ago, I first made this tumbler, and I use um, measuring tape. You know how you? And I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Measuring tape, and then. I use it to measure, and that tells me how many inches I need to make something. Love measuring tape. Measuring tape, bomb.com. If you don't have measuring tape, get some. I'm gonna turn y'all down. I'm gonna go do this. All right, earthquake. Sorry, y'all. Oh, them to the booty shorts. Pay no mind, it's 90 degrees a holiday. My sister is hot. All right, hold on. Do I need to turn you all around? Let me see. Uh, all right. Can you all see? Hold on. Jeez! <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all, this thing is getting on my last nerve. How am I gonna, okay. Now you're cro crooked. You see, see my hands? Hopefully I didn't just mess up something. There we go. All right, now we have our cut. Do it. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. Am I back? I'm back on my screen. Hmm.
My back? You see me? Oh, for Pete's sake, y'all, I am so sorry. <laughs> it was the locusts, they're so daggone big, they were messing up my internet. Okay, cool, okay, I see you guys. Lord mercy, now I have to get you back on the stand. <laughs> Uh, y'all. Oh my gosh. All right, I can see you. Hi, Jerry, Melissa, Joanna, Carrie. Okay. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> we go turn y'all back around again. Hopefully I'll keep you on here. Are we good? Any casualties? Sorry about that, you guys. All right, this is what I had used for this one. So it looks like this now. But it started out looking like this, and this is just an old towel that I have. I like to use it because it has like these fibers on it. See how it's like, it's got the little fibers from the towel. I use it for the distressing. It really gives a cool texture. So now, where's my acetone? Put some acetone in this medicine cup. This is my acetone I use. Whoa, I get it from Walmart. It comes in this big blue can. Clean strip. You sanded a cup in my absence. Way to keep working, Jerry. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I missed the whole first half. First half, which part did you miss, Melissa? I'm gonna repost this. So hopefully you can rewatch it. Cause I think it was still going on YouTube. I think, I hope. I hope, I hope. All right, this is acetone. Now we're just gonna wipe away our paint where we don't want any paint. I like to keep my stars pretty white. So I'm just kind of go through. And take some of the paint off my stars. I like my stars to be white. Uh, while I'm doing this, what have y'all been up to? Is anybody doing anything for the 4th of July? I know this is kind of like the first time in a while people have been able to leave because of COVID, visit family. We're planning on visiting some of my friends in North Carolina. Is that gauze? No, it's um, towel, a piece of a towel, like terry towel. Where is it? Did I? I think I threw the rest of it away. But it was like a towel, like a bath towel. And then I cut it up. I had gotten holes and it was an old bath towel that I cut up and that's what I'm using. I like the texture on it. Sure. Aloha, Shayna from Hawaii. Oh my gosh, can I be where you are right now? Bet you don't have these daggone locusts in Hawaii and it's probably beautiful there. I have never been to Hawaii. That's like on my bucket list. y'all missed it it literally sounds like a jungle in my backyard right now i think that looks good is my dog outside hey sir oh no but i left him outside it's like 90 degrees out there spinning cups you got a lot of orders erica where's my acid i just took my oh a little bit more acetone This, I'm just wiping it away, but I don't want to take up away too much of the black paint. I'll flip it around a little bit. And you see where it's kind of building up? You want to keep that? That's going to make a really cool effect when we start on the rest of the cup. But see how it's like made like a big smudge right there? Keep that. Keep it. And then as the acetone starts to dry, you can really start to get a really cool effect because it's not taking as much of the paint away. 
Now I'm just kind of lightly going over it. And you can go side to side, up, down, doesn't really matter at this point. We're just kind of taking away some of this black paint and giving it that dirt grunge look. Orders and tutorials, last night I had a dream that I was doing your class. Hey, cool. Show pictures when you're done. Now the acetone's kind of dried a little bit, so it's not taking as much away. It's just kind of taking away a little bit, which is what I like, because now I can really start to get like the dirty, grungy look from the paint. Can you guys see how it's like building up and making it like really dark and dirty? I see so many distressed cups and they don't look distressed to me. Like I can see that they've like added some brown. But I'm like, make them cups distressed. I mean, this flag's been through some wars. Make it look like it's been dragged on the ground and dirty and grungy. And so that's why I do a lot of distressing on my cups. I mean, it's my style. I mean, you can end up doing, you can distress it as much or as, as much as you want or as little as you want. I like to do it a lot. I like to show a lot of dirt and grunge and stuff on mine. That's just me. And like I said, my acetone is kind of dry, so I'm getting like the cool gritty looking parts now. I'll add, get some more acetone on my towel in a little bit, but I'm gonna try to keep this little bit of, not epoxy, acetone, a little bit of acetone on my towel getting dry so it's harder to wipe off but you want that because now you can get like the cool bits showing that's what you want that's what you want oh cool my first distress flag tumbler went to my husband he's um a former Marine. So I did the USMC emblem on the stars part. He loves it. He got upgraded to a constitution flag or a constant, uh, not a constitution flag, but a distress flag with like the constitution on it that says we the people. So I made him that for Father's Day last year. I don't know what I'm gonna make him for this year. YouTube is a live at Facebook Live where you can come back and rewatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a definitely not delete this because I saw that option when I did a test yesterday. So yeah, I'll definitely post this to my page. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do another live next week because my kids are gone for ten days. Ten days. Like I said, I don't know what to do with myself. Like what? My poor husband. I'm like, I don't have to cook dinner. Kids aren't here. Cook yourself something. Get some ramen noodles. I'm not cooking or nothing. <laughs> poor man. Right, I just added more acetone, so it's taking off a lot more now, which is fine. Ooh, spa day sounds amazing. I've actually started working on, um, Saturday's tutorial I've already started working on. And then the tutorial for next week, I started working on that one too, just so I can have a nice, easy week next week and still be in time to post. Now I'll give you a sneak peek of this week's tutorial since y'all are here. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a tutorial for this whole cup, but like I said, I follow Team Brando's tutorial and since their tutorial is awesome, like I said, just look up Team Brando Distress Flag Tumblr and it'll pop right up. <laughs> right they're with their grandparents they ha my grandparents have like this um they go glamping which is what I like to call it because it's camping but they're in an RV and their RV literally looks like a mini house on wheels so it's kind of like you're not really camping so they call it glamping I think that's actually a thing where they like RVers go glamping so it's like glamorous camping which is my kind of camping don't get me wrong do not get me wrong y'all saw how i was with the daggone locust i am not an outdoor person but stick me in a rv that looks like a miniature hotel and i am i'm there i'm there that's my kind of camping now you stick me in a tent on the hard ground i am too bougie for that and i'm not ashamed to say it we will fight i'm not doing it that's not me you can go and be 
uh, Grizzly Adams on your own, but I'm staying inside in the air conditioning, <laughs> unless you have an RV. Yes, Carrie, yes, I'm addicted to it now. We started going, my parents let us use their RV. They're getting older now, and so they don't take it out as much. So they told us, my husband is a truck driver, so he has his CDL, and so my parents are like, if you wanna go out on the camper, go ahead and take it anytime you want. So every year, we go to Jeep Week in Ocean City. My husband has a 97, or is it a 98? Jeep Cherokee. He wants a Wrangler. I would love a Wrangler, but we're saving up for that. So he has a Jeep Cherokee and he loves all things Jeep. And so we go camping or glamping every year and we go up to Jeep Week. Y'all cannot see what I'm doing. I am so sorry. Um, we go to Jeep Week every year in Ocean City. Locust, where are you from? I'm in Maryland. I am in Maryland. And Thankfully, Southern Maryland, so they're not as bad down here as it is up in Northern. In fact, just up the street from me, they're bad. Um, we did a little family outing last weekend and we went up north a ways where the locusts are more prevalent and I almost had a heart attack a couple of times. Them, them suckers, they're harmless. I know they're harmless, but in my head, I see this thing flying at me and they can't fly well. They'll run into you. They'll get stuck in your hair. I mean, it's traumatizing, seriously. So when I was six, when they first came, they came in 1986, I'm showing my age. I was six years old. Well, y'all already know I'm an 80s baby, but I was six years old and one flew down my shirt. I was six. It flew down my shirt. I don't know how it got down my shirt, but the big old daggone thing. And so I'm a six year old. So you know those locusts are already big. <laughs> They're already big, but to a six-year-old, they're like the size of a miniature poodle. So it flew down my shirt. I remember screaming and yelling and flailing my arms around, and I ended up squishing it in my shirt. And I still remember to this day, 34 years later, the sound that bug made when I squished it in my shirt. I cannot, I cannot even, I just, I just cannot. Uh, what are, oh no, two blown tires, that's horrible, I'm so sorry. Hey, Lewis. Oh, he's a long haul trucker. Okay, well, my husband's a heavy haul, so he stays local. He can't go anywhere long away from me with his children in this house and me by myself. I, I will not do it. Yes, Joanna, traumatized forever. So the last time they came, I was like, in 2003, I think they came again because they're every 17 years. So I was 23 at that time and I worked in PG County where they are, they are all over the place in PG County. And I remember they were all over the ground and all over the cars. And I would run into my building to work. <laughs> I, would, I would literally sprint from my car into the building so I wouldn't have to see those daggone locusts. And now they are back, 2021. But thankfully they are not, they're not bad down here, thank the Lord. So. Yeah, I think, let me see. Do I wanna take off any of this more? Maybe a little bit more off. Take a little bit more off. I'm liking how it's looking. In Texas, we have roaches the size. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. See, I wanna visit Texas too. I wonder if they're like those palmetto bugs. I went to college in Florida for four years and they had these things called palmetto bugs and they look like roaches, but they flew. I was like, no, mm -mm. no. Was a bees bling. Oh, thank you, Joanna. I think they did change their name to bees bling. I'm not sure if they're Team Brando anymore. I think they started selling glitter. There's so many tumbler companies that started out making tumblers and they moved on to glitter and stuff, which is like cool. I mean, like go y'all, but I could not be a glitter supplier. I like just mixing my own glitters. I actually thought about selling, but I was like, no, I got too much on my plate already i would lose my mind cool and they should do they still have the file melissa i remember in the description box they had a link to the file for the flag <laughs> i believe it girl them bugs is no joke my lord yes roach is one thing but don't you fly mm -mm. that's just mm -mm. that's not acceptable and there's glitter on this cup <sighs> 
one thing glitter, man. Glitter everywhere. Glitter on the dog, glitter everywhere. So I'm just taking out this glitter. <laughs> a sharpshooter? I'm gonna have to look at that. I don't think I've ever heard of a bug called a sharpshooter. Me either, Joanna. I don't do bugs either. Mm -mm. Absolutely the heck not. All right, so I'm thinking, ugh, another thing of glitter, for Pete's sake. All right, I'm gonna do just a teeny bit more, teeny bit more, and then we'll start with the alcohol inks. Take off a little bit more right here. Not too much though, let me see if I can find a dry spot. My acetone ate through my glove, dag nabbit. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. All right, and this is like the hardest part, is this paint part. Once you get this done, the rest is easy peasy and it goes pretty fast. I think, oh, um, Jerry, I think they're uh, bees bling. I think that's what um, Joanna said. And I think that sounds about right. I think that sounds right. Cause I think they did change their name. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. We have, um, well, I call them hoppies. They look like little crickets, but they, well, they look like a spider slash cricket and they hop. Like, and when I say hop, I'm talking like hop, big distances in a single bound. Like Superman ain't got nothing on them. I call them hoppies. I don't think that's the scientific term for them, but they look like crickets slash spiders. Yay, Maryland's. Whew, mercy. All right, I think we're good, y'all off a little of my stars. My acetone is pretty dry on this piece, so it's not taking off a lot, but that's how I want it. Yeah. All right, let's do some color. Let me get another glove, because this one has a hole in it. Ah. Y'all are scaring me, man. I want to visit Texas. Y'all got bugs, man. That's like Australia. I want to visit Australia so bad, but man, Australia's bugs, they're on a whole nother level, y'all. They're like level master. I'm not, mm -mm. nope, no. All right, so now I'm going to take teak wood. And you can also use, um, if you don't have teak wood, you can also use espresso. This is, uh, what is this, Tim Holtz? Yeah, Tim Holtz alcohol ink. My favorite is teak wood, but don't be scared. Teak wood is known to turn green. When you put epoxy on it, it turns green, but it'll turn right back to brown after it cures. So don't get scared. So if you put it on your cup and your cup turns green and you're like, no, don't worry, it'll turn back to brown. And I'll be sure to post pictures of the cup after it's finished curing so you guys can see what it looks like. So now we're gonna add, I'm gonna take this sponge out so I can stick my hand in there. All right, and we're just gonna go along and we're gonna add brown. Now, when you put the alcohol ink, once you put it on your cup, it stains your cup. So if you wanna have white parts, make sure you leave white sections where you want them. If you put alcohol ink on it, it won't be white anymore. It'll be more like a cream color. So just keep that in mind when you do this. So once that ink is on there, it kind of stains the epoxy. This is gonna be like my first coat. We're gonna do a couple coats of the inks and it'll give it depth. Each coat of the ink you put on, the darker it'll be, which is what I like. So if you don't want it, to be too dark, then just go with one layer of ink. I watched her before, but then lost her. Yep, yep. Flies, oh, no bugs in Washington State. Hey, I think I'll visit Washington State. Why not? That's why fall is my favorite season. People usually say summer. Summer, I'm hot, I'm sorry. 
I know I'm black, I come from a tropical people, but I don't like heat. <laughs> I don't like heat. I can do a sun cold, but fall is my favorite. I think fall is the perfect season, bugs die. You get that nice crisp air. Then I'm Christmas. I'm a Christmas fanatic. I love Christmas ever since I was a kid. I'm a huge kid. I'm still a big kid. Christmas is my favorite holiday. And when fall rolls around, you start thinking of Thanksgiving and Christmas. And it just gets you in that mood. Oh my gosh, yes. I love fall. And sweaters. I love sweaters. I love my sweaters. I love my sweatshirts. That's why if you guys look on my merch site, I have so many <laughs> sweatshirt styles available. I love sweatshirts, my word. All right, this is our first layer of inks. Like I said, I'm using teak wood. You can also use espresso. But like I said, teak wood will turn green when you epoxy it, but it'll turn back to brown. So don't get scared. I know I got scared the first time I did it. I was like, I just ruined this cup. Yes, Erica, Christmas, yes, yes. Christmas movies. I, used, I love watching um, Food Network during Christmas. They have this show called the Christmas Baking Championship or something. I watch it every year. All right, this is our second coat of inks. And with this one, we're gonna really start getting the dirt look in. You can see how it's kind of looking like dirt now when you pat on it. Just pat on it a little bit and it really starts to build up and look like a smudge of dirt. That's what we want. Just pat it and then when it starts to dry a little bit, we can go back and swirl it and really make it look smudgy. Is that a word? Smudgy? Did I just make up a word? Not sure, but y'all get what I mean. So now I'm going back over it and I'm smudging it a little bit. So now you see how it looks like it's got smudges of dirt right there. So we're just going around with our second thing of ink. How do you get holographic vinyl to stick to your tumblers? Uh, it sticks fine to me. Maybe the brand? What brand are you using, Jerry? I think I use, for holographic vinyl, I use uh, Tect, Tect Vinyl, Tech Vinyl. On Amazon, I think that's where most of my holographic vinyl I get comes from. Yes, Erica, do it. The Christmas lights tumbler, I mean, the response for that one like blew my mind. It's just because I was too lazy to actually use the actual lights for the Christmas lights tumbler. <laughs> So I was like, let me do a peekaboo and see how that looks. And people loved it. I was like, wow. All right, y'all. Oh, there you go, Joanna. But I don't, you can absolutely, like Joanna, Joanna said, quick coat from CCDIY is excellent for to keep vinyl from lifting. But it could also be the brand. I haven't had any issues with my holographic vinyl lifting off the cup. I'm not sure. Oracle 61, I've had it a while. Hmm. 651 is a pretty good brand. I'm not sure. 651 is supposed to be the permanent sticky vinyl. I'm not sure, Erica. I mean, not Erica, Jerry. I'm not sure. If y'all have any other questions for cups, go ahead and ask them. It doesn't have to be pertaining to this one. If I can help you, I can. <laughs> your unicorn. <laughs> okay, maybe. It could be. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Joanna. Could be, though. Might be a bad batch. I don't know. Not sure. Liking how it's looking. Liking how it's looking. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Erica is um, 321 Cup Designs and Paxton Projects. That's Erica. She told me her name earlier. You guys may have missed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Erica. You need to make yourself known, girlfriend. People are like, who are you talking to? I have been known to talk to people that aren't around, but Erica's here, so I'm not going crazy right now, I promise. <laughs> have people think I'm crazy, Erica. I mean, I am, but it's a secret. You ain't supposed to know I'm crazy, Lord. <laughs> Y'all are funny. I'm definitely gonna have to do more lives. I'm gonna try to do, it'd be nice if I could do a live once a week because I love doing tutorials, don't get me wrong, I'll still do tutorials, but I can only do tutorials right now once a week. If I could do a live once a week too, that way I won't have to worry about editing anything. I can just show you guys a technique or something or I also have this huge canvas in my office. In fact, I need to clean my office. I'm cleaning my office while my kids are gone. I no longer have an excuse of I don't have time. Because before, let me just tell you, running your own business and having kids in sports is no joke. My Both my sons were in baseball. My daughter had dance. I was literally losing my mind. Every evening, something was going on. But now, baseball season is over. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Dance classes are over for the summer. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I literally have no excuses now. My evenings are free for the first time since like January. So I need to clean my office. It's like really bad. I mean, I'll do like a time lapse and show you guys my, oh my gosh. It's like, a, I'm like looking around at it now. It's a hot mess, y'all. Oh my goodness gracious. I say it's because I'm artistic. That's why my office is messy. Because believe it or not, I know where everything is. It's just, you know, in a state of permanent disarray. And then, of course, if I clean it, I'll lose everything. I won't know where anything is when I clean it. That always happens. I clean my office and then I'm like, where did I put this? For my stars, I'm gonna keep like this center section white. So I'm just gonna put some inks along the edges All right, I think I'm done with my inks. And now we're gonna add some gold. Let me see, I think I wanna use this one. This is Ranger Liquid Pearls. I think I got it from Michaels. You can get it on Amazon too. Ah, I just spilled my acetone all on my thing, no. Dig, won't it? No, well, it looks fine. That's why we use contact paper. All right, anyways. Let me see if I can get this out. This is, <laughs> you have a two-year-old, a six-year-old, and a husband. Yes, girls. Count the husband. Always count the husband. Always count the husband. No, did I just freeze again? Oh wait, hold on. My phone has a low battery. Dad, nab it. Hold on, let me plug my phone in. It paused, my phone paused because it said you have a low battery. Dad, go on it. Hold on. I have my cord, I have my cord. There we go. Plugged in. Are we good? Okay, cool. Oh, it didn't freeze? It froze on, I don't know why, it froze on my screen, that was weird. Anyways, back to the thing. So I'm using Ranger Liquid Pearls. What color is this? Does it say a color? It doesn't say a color, y'all. Pearlescent paint, it just says Liquid Pearls Pearlescent Paint. Can y'all see? Is it blurry? T Ranger, it's like a brownish gold or coppery looking gold. There's no color name on here, which is weird. Hmm. I'm 
this is not alcohol. This is an alcohol ink. This is like a, it's almost like a paint. It's called Liquid Pearls Dimensional Pearlescent Paint. That's what I'm using. I put a little bit on my towel. And I do it, I just like to add a little bit of, oh, just a little too much. A little bit of gold to my cup. In fact, just using my finger. Actually, this isn't shining up like I want. I think I'll use my other gold. I had used this one previously and then I had switched and I couldn't remember why I switched. This is why, because it didn't really show up. So I'm gonna use my um, gold from Woody's Goodies, which is what I use on the other cup. This is Woody's Goodies, Do Doogie. <laughs> her names for her stuff is hilarious. All right, whoa, that was a lot. Wipe some of that off on here. All right, so this is now, I've changed my mind. I'm using Woody's Goodies Gold now instead of the Ranger because it didn't show up right. It kind of made just like a weird shimmer and I don't want a shimmer. I kind of want it to look like this. Yes, perfect. So it kind of gives a gold look. Can you all see that? I keep getting out of frame. I'm just gonna add, it's almost like an accent. You don't wanna do too much. Well, you can do as much as you want, but I'm not gonna do too much. I just want it to just give a little bit of a, I don't know, it's like a cool effect that the gold gives off. I mostly do it on the black. Wipe it on, wipe it on, wipe it on. Get a little bit more. Ooh, that's a lot. We'll wipe it in a minute. I actually kind of like the shimmer of it. I have to go pick up my kid. Oh, all right, Erica. I'll be doing more lives, I promise. I'll probably try to pop one again next week for sure because my kids are gone still and the house will be quiet. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'll think of something. We'll think of something to do. Rubbing it in the black. And maybe a couple more places. You just found the Bria Reese liquid glitter alcohol ink. Hmm? I don't think I ever used Bria Reese. Alrighty, I think we're good, y'all. Yeah, just a touch more gold on the back. Good. What do y'all think? Glitter alcohol. <laughs> Kimnia? 
I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but I'll be posting it. It'll be posted, yes. After I um, finished, I'll post it to the page. Yes, I will, yes, I will. All right, y'all, I think we're done. So we got this one, we got, so we got these two going. And that's how I distress my cups. And y'all can distress them as much or as little as you like. Like, I like a good distressed cup, so I distress the mess out of them, but you can, not distress them as much as this, distress them as much or as little as you like, like I said, whatever your preference is. Let me see if I can turn y'all back upwards again. Let me see if I can do it. Oh gosh. Oh, now I'm upside down. How are we gonna fix it? Hold on. <laughs> there we go. All right, y'all. Wow, y'all are real close. Hey, y'all real close and personal. Let me back up a little bit so I can see my messy craft room. What's going on? If y'all have any questions, let me know. Absolutely, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Yes, time without the kids. I mean, I can't even think about the last time I have been kidless for this long a time. Like, for example, before COVID, my brother and I would switch our kids out. For example, my brother and his wife, my sister-in-law, one weekend we would have their kids and we would like have a date night like once a month. So they would have our kids once a month and we would have their kids once a month and we would go back and forth. So we would have like a weekend with no kids and me and the hubby. And that was amazing. We would go see the movies and catch up on our movies and go out and just be kidless. Then COVID hit and we've been with the children's for a, a minute. So this is awesome. All right, y'all, I'm gonna figure out how to turn this off. I'm not sure, this is my first live, but thank you guys so much for showing up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, I think you can still comment down below, pretty sure. Uh, what else do I need to say? I think that's about it. Hold hostage. <laughs> uh, still tutorial will be up this Saturday at 2 p.m. EST, we'll be doing, ooh! Sneak peek, did y'all wanna see a sneak peek? Let me show you, hold on. I want y'all to see my. Oof. It's gonna be this one this week. I still haven't added the saying yet, but it's gonna be a, it's a glitter peekaboo tumbler for the 4th of July. It kind of reminds me of how I did my fall leaf tumbler. Have y'all seen that tutorial? I kinda like how I did that one. But instead of doing just white spray paint, I did a peekaboo, kinda like how I did the Valentine's Day tumbler. Yeah. It's got like the red, white, and blue stars. So I'm gonna show you guys, I think there was a couple of custom mixes in this one. I can't remember y'all, my mind. My children have sucked the brain matter out of my head. Kid you not. Kid you not. So that'll be up on this Saturday at, what did I just say? 2 p.m. EST. Um, and I think that's it, y'all. Oh, and I still have my merch. My merch shop is open. I think you can, the link to my merch shop is somewhere down below. And what else, what else, what else? I think that's it, you guys. I think that's it. Y'all have an amazing day. Keep sparkling. I'm sparkling right now. Lord knows, all day, every day. <laughs> Can I see any more questions? That fall leaf tumbler is everything. Yes, I pretty much made this tumbler exactly how I made the fall leaf tumbler. It's just that I did glitter instead of paint. This, instead of this part being white paint, I did a silver glitter. And you talk about the sparkle, y'all. You see like the silver bits in it? It gives off so much sparkle when I take it outside. It's insane. But this is a, uh, what color is this? Silver lining from Yaya's Glitter. Okay, but I'll have everything posted in tutorial. It'll be up this Saturday at 2 p.m. Y'all have an excellent day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.